Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to your royal gayness. A reverse dating simulator, indie game, fairy tale parody, all sort of adorable things. We are on day 25, we have 60 days uh, regime time, and we are still quite deep in the closet. Yay! Alright. Good news, Your Grace. The one who helped the thieves in the castle, she's been found. One of your mother, the queen's chambermaids, a young woman by the name of Munira. We are apprehended her and are awaiting you, your say in the matter. Find out who she was working with first. This goes deeper than just one chambermaid. Find out why she stole the gems with luck. We can then find where they went. Yeah, find out who she's working with. Sure thing, G-Man. And a letter. You are invited to Omar and Talitha's wedding. The lovely couple is tying the knot soon. May the gods bless them with eternal happiness and many children. RSVP. The family is expecting you to come. See you there, buddy. Oh yeah, Omar, my bro. Well, your grace, it took nine hours, a lot of sweet words, and seven live turkeys, but I got the information out of the chambermaid who helped the thieves break into the royal treasury. And who was she working for? A family of nobles, the Yasser family. Yasser, you said. Am I uh, related to any of them? Are you... Royal lineage is very messy, spy master. Yes. Of course it is, your grace. No, the Yasser family has no familiar ties to yours. They acquired their nobility through wealth, not blood. In that case, arrest a lot of them. I cannot be seen as a weak ruler. I still should not risk the wrath of the nobles, just have the gems returned. No, arrest them. God damn, you are rich enough. You do not need to steal from me. Indeed, you cannot. You'll watch. I'll have the scumbags in irons before breakfast, G. My liege, are you aware of the blob monster that lives in the city sewers? No, I was not aware of that. Thank you. Mr. Squishy! Yes, I remember it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please don't call it that. But, Drake Monster, you were the one who named it, weren't you not? Everyone makes mistakes, my liege. Anyway, we saw no harm in letting it roam underground, so long as it harmed no one, but... Uh, let me guess, it escaped the sewers. No, it, it's poisoning the water supply. No, Prince, it, a child wandered in and got gobbled up. No, no, none of that. Just, well, it's been making very strange noises. Citizens have given it a number of descriptions, including, but not limited to, a rock titan gargling an av avalanche in a d thunderstorm. Oh, is that what that noise was? I thought it was Barry snoring. So I guess it's up to me to decide how to handle the beast, is it? You are heir to the throne, my liege, and acting ruler in the absence of your father, the king. So yes. Yes. Have Barry and his apprentices a Investigate the creature and see what, if anything, done. anything can be done to stop noises. Sorry, Mr. Squishy, but your days are numbered. No, let's put Barry on it. I shall send the word myself, my liege. It's finally happening! My good friend Omar's wedding! It's so beautiful. The flowers really complement the decor and the bride and groom are very happy. Well, they look happy at least. I know from Omar's letters that they don't really have much in common and don't share any interests. There's a certain tension between them, like both of them are actors who want the other to pull most of the weight. At least they get to have a lovely wedding. I admit, I'm almost a little jealous. A wedding does sound like something I want. But I'd rather like it... I'd like it if I didn't have to be an actor. If it were genuine and true and... That, that when I saw the one person taking vows with me, that I meant those vows, and so did he, and everyone saw us playing. And having that being the start of the rest of your marriage, that seems so important. I'm sure Omar and Talitha will make it work together. The entire world is supportive of them. That has to stand for something, right? 
Regardless, there's a, there was and now they're bound together. The best I can do is act as a friend to both of them and help support them along the way. Just as I expect they'd do for me. Greetings, Your Grace. I write to you from Knupleriarpfel with grave news. Our kingdom has suffered a great fire that has burned much of our crops to the up for the upcoming winter. We ask you and your grand kingdom to come to our aid. If you have any crops to spare or any supplies you wish to give us, then we would be in your debt. Send them some of our winter reserves. We can't help them. I'll send them people who can help. Yeah, I'll send them some people who can help. Hey, Amir! Thanks for showing up at my wedding. I had a couple of aunts who wouldn't believe I was friends with the glorious Prince Amir. When you showed up, I swear their jaws dropped all the way to the floor. We got them good. Feels good to be a married man. It gives you an aura of maturity or something. I can hear you laughing all the way over there. Over here. And I'm telling you, stop it. I'm being serious. I swear people are paying way more attention to my opinions now. Too bad you can't experience this. It's really unfair that folks like folks like you can't get to get ma don't get to get married now that I think about it. But you're the prince, maybe you could change the laws, make a difference, you know? I'll support you for sure. Your mature and responsible bro, Omar. Your Grace about the Asir family. Yes, sir, have they been apprehended? They have, and the gems were recovered. That's good. Great! Score one for Amir. Who's an awesome prince? G. Who's an awesome prince, spy master? You are. Oh yeah! Your Grace, please listen. Yeah, okay. While the gems were recovered, the arrest of the Asir family was. has. how shall I put this? It sent ripples through the upper echelons of Marahijan society. Ooh. Long story short, you're gonna have a hell of a lot of harder time earning the loyalty of your nobility after this. Well, maybe my nobility shouldn't be stealing from the royal treasury. That would make things easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it would. Hi, boss. Me and the kids look, looked into the problem with the blob monster and we think we found what's causing the noise. Please do tell, I'm asleep. Remember the, that envoy of Knupish diplomats that came into town a couple of weeks ago? Oh dear. Of course, how are they doing? Just fine, but that's not why I mentioned them. It turns out they brought a local delicacy of there with them. Fjord eel, salted and pickled in a 10-year-old gorgon vinegar, and then left hanging from a cliff for a year and a half. They call it, no, 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 please say no more, Barry, I've already lost my appetite. Apparently, the blob has been consuming the remains, and it doesn't quite sit well with the its gelatinous guts. Then prohibit gnappishmen from eating it anymore. Honestly, how can they eat it? If the Knobbies are so proud of it, they're probably raise a stink if I prohibit them from eating it. Yeah, they probably do. Pun intended. Sure. Let them diplomats know what's up at least, if only uh, spur them to leave sooner. Will do, boss. And we have a princess. Have I seen you before? I don't remember anymore. Okay, no, I haven't. I am called Frigga, and I hail from the beautiful land of Knupferjarpfell. Or uh, maybe I have seen you, but I haven't spied on you just yet. So excited to be here, and it would be so cool to marry you. Well, I can't marry you because... The sauna is on, and I wouldn't want to waste firewood. Stars are not aligned, my dog ate my homework. Let's try this one. I lost all my underwear, I spent all my time saving lost dogs, there is a bear. Enough said. Do I need to go and take a shower so I don't think I should touch you? Enough said. I have to go now. Greet your parents for me, won't you? Okay. Well, that was... easy. May I have a moment of your time, Prince Amir? Of course. Is there anything I can help you with? Some of the nobles would like to arrange a small charity for the sick children in the city. Would you be willing to offer some funds for this event? Of course. 
give some of the money to the charity itself as well. I can't use funds to... No, of course we will take part in the charity event. Come on. I will inform them of your support right away. Thank you for your time. I greet the Prince Amir. It has come to my attention that one of my people has weaved heavy unrest in one of your villages close to our borders. It would seem that they allowed their bloodlust to rule them. On behalf of all obsidians, I, as Trophil of the Dark Enchanter, give you my deepest apologies. It is not my intention to allow any of my people to cause such sorrow outside of our borders. I will pay for all the damages and for all the funeral arrangements. The relatives of these villagers will live in riches for the rest of their lives. Uh, with my deepest sympathies, Astrophil, the Dark Enchanter. At least they're not trying to hide it. I will let Astrophil deal with this. This is unforgivable. Yeah, 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 he can deal with this. Already apologized. I am getting bored of board games, but at least I'm doing better with my wife. Speaking of family... That witch must have been right about me and Talitha being like grape trees, cause she's already expecting a baby. I knew it'd happen sooner or later with our bedroom activity. Luckily, you don't need to hold a conversation when you're doing that, indeed. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, know what I mean. But I figured it'd be later, you know. To be honest, I'm having a major freakout. Save me from my adult responsibilities. Maybe you could have joined the border guard or something. Maybe you could have me join the border guard. No, guess I'll have to become dad then. How's life in the castle treating you? Your parents are coming back soon, right? I bet they'll be shocked when they see how much has changed in such a short time. Good luck with the parental judgment. Send Omar thanks and congratulations. And Amir, dearest, I'd like your opinion on something. Your studies went remarkably well and I'd like to... Kunal to follow your footsteps. Well, the thing is, I think my sweet Kunal may have found himself a little lady friend. I saw him writing a letter looking lovestruck and he signed it off with a heart. I'm sure you had a fan or two during your studies. Forgive me for being so blunt, but I have to ask, were they a distraction to you? Did you find the willpower to resist their feminine charms and focus on your studies? I'm wondering if I should trust Kunal to keep up with his studies or if I should step in. With love, Auntie Nilam. The palace is quiet today. Just the right amount of quiet. Guards clank around in their armor. I flip through pages of the national budget and the occasional fly passes about. Distant sound of rushed padded footsteps fills my chambers. Boss, we have a strange problem, but one that needs to be addressed immediately. What is it, Barry? Did we get attacked? Did some devil, evil sorcerer come to try to take our magical artifacts? Is a dragon swooping in to burn the capital to the ground? Is Kupner whatever breaking our peace treaty and marching to our defenses? No, but it's certainly comparable. You know Eugene, right, Your Grace? Eugene? Yeah, you know, Eugene? We're friends? Oh yeah, I know the guy, Eugene. Oh jeez, is he hurt? I hope he's alright. Do we need to get a doctor for him? Is he sick? Is he bankrupt? I'm afraid it's far worse than that, your grace. I'm afraid he's... <gasps> oh, it's too hard to say. Spit it out, Barry. If it's as urgent as you say it is, we gotta get it fixed up before anything ha bad happens. Fine. A magical portal opened on his farm and it... Oh no. It's doing nothing but spitting out goats. Oh, for all of the gods, how could we let this happen? I know, your grace, my wizards and I are working on making sure our security is up to snuff. Apparently there's been a breach in our magical defenses. But regardless, Eugene is in trouble. I don't know if it's possible to drown in a goat, in goats, but Eugene is about to find out. Got to get to the bottom of this, I know evil things when I see him. I'm staying 800 miles away from the portal. Ooh, I know what we should do. Let's sell all the goats. Yeah, let's sell all the goats. Well, he has. That was his first thought, and their value dropped quite a lot. Chickens are more expensive than goats now. Wait, isn't that good? Can't we solve world hunger or something? We don't have time to be worrying about petty issues like that, boss. You know what? Fine, send the wizard detectives. I'll be doing just that. And hello, princess. 
Lilith from Obsidia. Why can't I? I'm seeking revenge against my brother who murdered my clan. My cat is having an abortion. The castle is overrun with spiders. Um, she might actually like spiders, so I'm gonna go with the first one. I'm in a hurry to go to the mast. I'm stung by a radioactive scorpion. The omens tell that I shouldn't get married ever. Enough said, so I will go pet some very large, very high spiders now. I should start cleaning, so enough said. I'll have to think about it. Oh, there goes the suspicion meter. Regarding that infinite goat portal, I sent the magical wizards. They couldn't find anything solid. They saw that magic was high quality and very pure, but nothing indicating that someone put it there on purpose. What shall we do? Sounds spooky. Not going near it. I'll have to go see for myself. It sounds spooky. I'm not. But what about Eugene? Don't get me wrong, Eugene's great, but I can't bring myself to face my deepest, darkest fear for him, you know? Your deepest, darkest fear is a portal spewing endless goats? Well, that is quite terrifying. Look, nobody's perfect, though, right? Sir, there have been reports of a mysterious stone with a sword in it on the farmland on the outskirts of the capital. Villagers are talking about it. They say that whoever pulls the sword from the stone is the true rightful king. What course of action shall I take, your grace? Why, that's nonsense. I will one, be, one day be the rightful king by birthright. Ignore it. Well, whose land is it on? Can we gather more intel? And the land where the stone with the sword is appears to belong to a local council member. He didn't seem to want to discuss the sword when I asked him about it. Find out where the sword came from. Look into his affairs a bit more thoroughly. Yes, look into his affairs. He's plotting something. Your next audience, my liege. Hello, who are you? A farmer. So, do I always uh, there where I start talking? Usually. Oh, oh, sorry, your highness. Uh, I guess I used to. <clears throat> anyway, I'm here on the behalf of a newly formed Marahian Farmers Militia. Farmers Militia, we have that? No, we do not. You would do well to explain yourself, madam. Ah, well, it's new. We just uh, started it a couple of days ago, matter of fact. Wait, was I supposed to come here first and then we started? Ah, uh, oh, shoot. <clears throat> Scratch that. I'm here to seek permission to begin the Marahian Farmers Militia. That, uh, that any better? March Trickmaster, give this woman the proper paperwork and have her submitted by tomorrow. Yeah, no, nice try, lady. Yeah, well, let's see how this goes. Paperwork, uh, I'm gonna need someone who knows their letters. Thank you, I'll have it back to you tomorrow. My liege, I did some prying on the council member and his sword, and I have discovered that he once attempted to spark a rebellion. It was a large failure. Where is the music? There it is. Thank you. What course of action should I take with him? Tell him to bring the sword to me to say that I pulled it from the stone. Strong arm him into giving you the sword and toss it in the lake. Yeah, bring the sword. Before anyone can alert me to my next audience, she becomes bursting into the hall, happily waving a handful of papers. Oh, hello! It's done, it's done! Took us all night, but it's done! I remember you, the farmer's militia, correct? That's right. The now formed Marahian farmer's militia. Hold on, hold on, you're not official yet. Huh, we're not? Then, then what was this old paperwork for? Oh, um, I have no idea. Anyway, you need now my approval, so explain to me the purpose of this militia. Oh, oh sure. <clears throat> Out on the frontier, it's dangerous life. Bandit raids are common, and so are wild beast attacks. When help from the army does come, it's usually too late or not enough. So, me and a whole bunch of other folks got together and decided to make us a militia, so we can take care of ourselves when the time comes, instead of relying you all to do it for us. And you were sent to make sure you had the throne support. Yep. 
very well, I grant you leave for your militia, unfortunately, an art militia not directly under our control is not something I can allow. Well, you did have a pretty good reasoning, so yeah, I will grant you permission. Woohoo, great, that's great. Now we ain't got it. Uh, I mean, now we can get started. I look forward to seeing the results. My liege, the sword is yours. The councilman isn't too happy about it, but the people are certain now that you are their proper heir. Yeah. Your Highness, Great Master, you look well. Thank you, but I'm afraid I to say I bring unpleasant news. Tribesmen from the Sun Saber Prairie speak of a band of vagabonds hunting by the herd of sacred unicorns that roam there. Unicorns? It's not illegal to hunt them. Technically, it's not selling their horns, however, is. A server reported any sightings of unicorn horns on the black market. None to my knowledge, sire. Hmm. Almarahi does, however, hold a claim to part of the sun. Supra Prairie, so should we wish to retain that claim, I would strongly suggest we investigate. Of course, I will place you in charge. Though it's tragic, our armies are taxed enough as it is. No, yeah, go on, why? We have plenty of soldiers to go around. Your Highness, news from Sunsaber Prairie. Tribesmen managed to capture one of the hunters uh, that were attacking their sacred unicorns. They were ready to deliver their own brand of justice unto him, but as the man but as the man is a Marahian, I declare that he should be tried in our court. I don't think they liked the idea, but ultimately they conceded. The hunter is now in the dungeon waiting his trial. Pardon me for my plantas, but what does any of this have to do with me? She shifts in her stance, a rare display of nervousness for the seasoned Drake Master. Apologies, my leech, but I perhaps thought it best if you spoke with him personally. Certainly, summon a pair of guards and we'll see him immediately. Um, Drake Master, I understand your frustration, but this is the court's jurisdiction, not mine. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, it's. But Amir, your error through the. She stops mid-sentence, realizing her words, and quiets restraining a sigh through clenched teeth. Of course, my liege. What was that about? News from the southern border. We have a southern border? Gee, just cause the map doesn't go any further doesn't mean... You know, uh, never mind. Anyway, past week has been tremendous spike in the number of refugees crossing the border into Al Marahi. I don't know if it's because of something nasty happening or just because they think we got it better up here. Well, don't we? The spy master clears the throat and averts their gaze. Anyway, the masses are split 50 50 on whether to let them in or keep them, so there's no pleasing the people one way or the other. Most of the nobles, however, are pretty clear on how they feel. They want the leeches, as they so subtly dub them, out of our country. On the other hand, the rest of the world is watching here. Isolating the kingdom might not look good in the eyes of the other nations. So not to put a ton of pressure on you, G, but it's your call. Once of my own people come before those of others, I will speak with the lords and ladies tomorrow on how to best handle this. I shall not be cold-hearted just because my noble choose to be allow the refugee travel into the kingdom. Um, yeah, allow the refugees in. Hello. Have I met you before? Comfy from the beautiful Obsidia. I have not talked to you before. My roommate Megan, the all-seeing eye, said no. Oh, my dragons are very hungry. No, my roommate Megan said no. I'm but a leaf in the wind. Uh, I swallowed a bird. I think I was bitten by a zombie. Yeah, let's take the zombie. So I need to call the pest control. I need to apologize to my ma. So we should all run for our lives. Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, I guess we were never meant to be. I hope you have a happy life. Oh, well. That's too bad. Goodbye now. It was very nice to seeing you. Okay. That was good. Amir, dearest, 
I come bearing sad news. We have decided to pull the boys away from Gloomington Academy. Just, a, just such a prestigious school, but the people there, I don't realize they accept the derelicts and persons of questionable morals. My sweet Connell was almost tainted by these slimy fellows. And to think I could trust that soft-spoken boy he studied with. I'm devastated, my dear Amir. No young love, only twisted temptation. It was all a sweet lie. I have no choice but to have Kunal on a house arrest and both of the boys homeschooled. What a dis dis disaster. Kunal is acting strange. As if I'm the wrong here. He's very upset and won't even talk to me. Maybe you could come visit us or at least send him a letter. I'm sure he'll li he'd listen to you. The boys have always looked up to you. Is it so that Kunal is also gay? I think I'm going to encourage him. News of that unicorn hunter went on trial, was convicted on all charges. By the time he's allowed to leave the dungeon, he'll have quite a few grey hairs on his head. Good news then? Partially. At the trial, he spent his defense preaching on a message of hatred to the crowd. As it turns out, he and his company were hunting the unicorns because of their cultural affiliation with free love and... Well, homosexuality. So in other words, this is an I told you so. No, oh, no, 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 of course not, my liege. It's just, um, it totally is. Well, we'll just have to work that much harder in the future, won't we? Update on the refugee situation. Do you want a short or the long story? It's a short one, please. Number of refugees is more than the kingdom can currently handle, and the complaints are starting to roll in. They're flooding the streets, taking away our jobs, don't respect our culture. There is a number of ways we can handle this, though I'm guessing by a previous declaration, simply kicking them out is on the ta off the table. Correct. So then, how should we go? If they need jobs, let's hire them ourselves to build houses and walls and such. I would say constrict them into the army, so that us are tough. al Marahian is a free society. I will not force them into any position. We must let this solve itself. Yeah, let's let. We should be able to afford that, and I'm sure your commanders will appreciate it as well. Okay. And we got a problem. I'm not always perfect. It's about one of my spies. She's gone missing. That's unfortunate. I don't see why you came to me about it. Not to be blunt, but normally you couldn't. Well, but I'm coming to you because of who she is. She is uh, also gay. Oh, I see. So I was hoping you could, you know, maybe put yourself in her shoes. You can try, but are you certain that had anything to do with her disappearance? Not entirely, but she fell in love not long ago with an elven woman and had been acting strangely ever since. You know, late for work, premise in her reports, fails to follow directions half the time, that sort of thing. Mm. Sounds like plain old love to me, don't you think? That's what I thought at first, but well, this isn't Farah's first girlfriend. And she has never acted this way with any of the others. And I read some of your other spies on finding her. They work together, they should know each other well. Contact Aerith then and see if they have any information on the woman Farah is with. Yeah, contact. That isn't exactly what I meant with put her yourself in her shoes, but... Well, all this time I'd hoped the reason you figured me out so easily is because you were gay as well, but I guess not. Not sure if my fake tears are working. Probably not. Did you know? Sorry about that. I just love everyone too much to box myself in, I guess. Just do what I ask, okay? Absolutely, and thank you. Noble Council spokesman is here. Hello, if I may get straight to the point. My liege, Sandstorm! Sandstorm now? Yeah, there's no report of one just appeared on the western horizons as if from nowhere. Quick, we must seal off the castle interior. What about the rest of the city? I've sent soldiers to warn the citizens, but there is no time. We have to help. They'll have to help themselves. Excuse me, but I don't see how this concerns... Stuff it, blue blood. 
Guards, hurry, close all the doors and windows in the palace, seal the lattice. The storm looks to shake the walls themselves. Okay. The sounds have died down. Do you think it's over? The worst is past us, yes, but we should give it another hour before we assess the damage. I don't have an hour. The noble council demands that I know it doesn't. Noble council is waiting it out as well if they know what's good for them. You're staying right where you are. Still, the sandstorm worries me because of the alacrity with which it happened. I am like to agree. I fear the citizens were terribly unprepared. We should work on relief. On the relief effort, sandstorms don't just appear out of nowhere. Have Barry look into this. I'll bet a hundred drachmas this was an unnatural occurrence. Did you hear that, my liege? I just offered to fund the investigation. What? No, I. Glad to hear it, sir. Thank you. Oh, for God's sakes. Naki. Oh, hello. I thought I already turned you down. My mother is a hamster in the star. She didn't was uh, convinced by the omens, so stars are not aligned. I'm having a bad hair day. Chicken detects my mother. I'm adopted. I'm having a bad hair day, so I have to go and see what's, what Megan the all seeing eye is up to. Burn on my clothes. Find something to eat. Yeah, Megan the all seeing eye. I guess we were never meant to be. Hope you have a happy life. Yes, I hope you have a happy life too. Okay, someone here I, I think you'd like to meet. Not another princess. Not even a woman. Oh, hello. Make your sound as though I'm a royalty. Utmost honor to present to you. Now you make... Wait, I... Yeah, you are royalty, mister. What is the purpose of this? Well, you sent for me, did you not? I did? Mr. Minstrel, you bid me find the one who was writing songs about you. Oh, yes, I have a proposition to make. I always thought it would be quite nice to have a royal musician here in the castle, someone to play music and compose music as well. And seems like, like just a man for the job. What do you think? To say he looks shocked would be an understatement. I think I've left the poor guy bereft of a voice. It's not a decree, so you can refuse it if you... Of course I will accept. With graciousness and dignity, the minstrel lowers himself to a knee. I can think of no greater honor, my liege. Good. It's settled then. I'll see you within a week and we'll talk more then. Thank you, thank you. Just one thing. Uh, Mr. Kadori is far too more formal, please, your grace. Call me Bashir. Yeah, okay. Now, this is the good place to stop. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Royal Gainess. There will be one more episode. We are on day 44. 15 more days to go. I'll probably cut some of the sections of this episode because I have been recording for quite a long time, so I don't think everything needs to be included in the video. You can play this game yourself if you are interested in all the little details that there is to this story. Thank you for watching this. If you liked it, let me know. Um, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again next time.